my fellow Americans. It has been the honor of my life to serve you. Together, we will make America great again. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. How does it feel to feel happy? Happy? I feel good. More than a million Americans sending a message to President Trump on the day after his inauguration. Women leading marches across this country and really around the world. Who treats a woman that way? And he's setting that example for all the kids that are growing up in America that it's okay to treat women the way he treats them, which is wrong. Not anymore. There was chaos and confusion at airports today as President Trump's immigration crackdown took effect. They are being greeted by attorneys, volunteer attorneys, uh, who have come to help anyone who has been detained. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. I really would like to take this moment to congratulate Venus. Um, she's an amazing person. An absolute shame on humanity. That's how the International Aid Organization CARE is describing the deepening humanitarian crisis in Yemen. Its children have paid the highest price in a war now in its third year. Protests on the streets of Venezuela turning deadly. Sunday's vote gives Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro full control of the assembly. Siempre voy a estar en las calles luchando por la libertad de mis hijos. Y bueno. The event was billed as a protest against plans to remove a Confederate monument in Charlottesville, Virginia. But at the end of a violent day, one woman was killed and 19 other people were injured. You, you had a group on one side that was bad and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. I come today with a very heavy heart because President Trump, our president, has literally betrayed the conscience of our country. 22 dead, 59 wounded, many struggling for their lives right now. Ariana Grande back on stage 13 days after the bombing that injured and killed so many young fans. North Korea late today launching a new missile. Flying higher and longer than any missile that country has launched before. Rocket Man should have been handled a long time ago. A royal decree has been issued in Saudi Arabia, giving women the right to drive. A country once afraid of change, now it seems changing all at once. Total solar eclipse. The first seen coast to coast across America in nearly a century. Oh my God, you guys, I'm actually crying. This is the most incredible, this incredible. thing. This one's called Double Trouble. <laughs> the United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. This will be the day that the United States resigned as the leader of the free world. When you work your entire life to create something and you see it gone, it's very difficult, it's very hard. Hurricane Irma is now the most powerful storm ever recorded in the open Atlantic Ocean. Two days after Hurricane Maria, all of Puerto Rico is still without power and may have no electricity for months to come. A powerful earthquake has just struck Mexico City. So many everyday citizens running in to help. As I'm sure you can imagine, we are devastated and we are still processing all of this. It all started with Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein and since then, the floodgates have opened. We tried to find one place where women were safe so we googled sexual harassment Antarctica and we found this article from five fucking days ago. And I'm like, hold on, what about the president? Listen. Okay, if you got your thing thing out and she got all her clothes on, you're wrong. You're in the wrong. Devastating. 7.3 magnitude earthquake has rocked the Middle East overnight. Hundreds dead along the border of Iran and Iraq. An urgent search for survivors now. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag? 
to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired. This is a protest about whether or not the country has fulfilled its promise of equal protection under the law to all of its citizenry. And that conversation is one no one wants to have. More than 300 people were killed in what's seen as the worst attack in Egypt's modern history. It's the first time that the militants target worshippers inside a mosque. More than half a million Rohingya refugees have left Myanmar for Bangladesh, fleeing what the United Nations has called a, quote, textbook example of ethnic cleansing. <laughs> President Robert Mugabe has resigned. Today it's victory. It's victory in our hearts. It's, it's victory for our children. And it's time to be more. This has been an incredible mission, an incredible spacecraft, and you're all an incredible team. I'm going to call this the end of mission. Project manager off the net. You know, now that a professional wrestler is our president, Anything is possible. You know that statement, anything is possible, used to have a positive connotation? Anything is possible. Now we're all like, anything is possible. Hey, and one last thing. I just want to say, anything is possible, Vox Video fans. Anything. Happy New Year. Peace.